big country music fans, and so that's why we decided to come for the whole weekend. They look excited there with thousands of country music fanatics descending on downtown Nashville for the return of the CMA Fest. And the festival serves as a celebration of music, food, art, and fashion in the music city. And a portion of the proceeds go to help bolster music, music education across America. News Nation's Nick Smith is live in Nashville. And Nick, you caught up with one of the teachers being honored this year. I'm loving the hat. I did indeed. Kelsey, you know, the hat is only part of it. So is the music and all of the festivities around me. She was one of 30 teachers given more than $2,500 for her dedication to music education. And she told me that one of the things that's most important to her beyond her love of music is passing it on to the next generation. Many times as a music teacher, you feel like you're an island because you're the only one that is the expert in music in your building. Danielle Taylor may be the only music expert in her building, but she is not the only musician. These are her students from Mount View Elementary School in Antioch, Tennessee, each of them soaring as high as the notes they carry. Oh my goodness, Jimmy Allen was so great with the kids. I love when students get to interact with people they can really see as role models, not only as musicians, but also as people. So Jimmy Allen seemed like a really awesome person. For the last 16 years, the CMA Foundation has been working with country artists such as platinum selling singer Jimmy Allen to improve music education in America's schools. I'm so grateful, not only for the recognition, but also for the support that that means for my classroom. Um, with the money that we win from that award, I get to purchase really cool stuff that I otherwise might not have. CMA Foundation really makes it feel like I'm not alone, that I have someone to call when I need help or if I need materials. It gives me community and the support that I need to deliver quality, diverse, and amazing musical experiences. As the students sing, their infectious voices spread into the hearts and souls of all who listen. inspiring new dreams and confidence. To date, the CMA Foundation has awarded more than 800 the country, but it's also about the new friends that I've met while I'm out here. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us on News Nation. Where are you from and who are you here to see? My name is Gabby, I'm from Arizona, and I'm here to see Luke Combs. I want to see Thomas Rhett. Love him, love him, love him. What's your first name? Nicole. I'm Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> My name's Ashley. Thomas Rhett. Love him. Yeah. I'm Alyssa from Chicago. I'm here to see Carrie Underwood. <laughs> I'm Grace. I'm from San Diego. Here to see Carly Pierce. Ladies, thank you all so much. This is what it's about. Kelsey, you meet and make friends everywhere you go here. There is a full lineup tonight. Not only Luke Bryant, Luke Holmes, and also Carrie Underwood. All of them are over at the Nissan Stadium. Kelsey, there are so many different stages that if you don't like one group or if you're excited to see another, you just got to put on your running shoes and keep on going. That's what it's all about. But in addition to that, the money that they raise, a portion of that goes to the CMA Foundation and it continues music education in public schools. Nick, there is incredible energy out there. Well, I got to also ask, what was the energy like in the room with those kids when they were performing with Jimmy Allen? What was that takeaway like? You know what, before they performed, he actually sat and he spoke about his own personal journey. And in it, Jimmy Allen talked about how he was just committed to following his dream of just singing and performing every day, that it wasn't about the venue, wasn't about the crowd size, it wasn't about the crowd adulation, it was about staying committed to his craft. And what he imparted unto those young people is that find what you're passionate about and stick to it. It doesn't matter if other people think you're going to make it because, as you know, he's an African-American artist who loved country music. And he said he was determined to follow through. And that was the message he left those young people with. And when they got there performing, Kelsey, the place was on fire, standing ovation and everybody was screaming. Nick, we can feel the energy in the studio.
How fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.